everyone, it's Jen at Reclaimed. Uh, I've got this fabulous chair with this awesome upholstery on it. Um, actually, uh, I painted one exactly like this not too long ago. Um, if you look on my Instagram or my Facebook photos, you'll see a chair that looks like this. It's painted in Henrietta and and the frame is painted in on green with the dark wax. It's got a little stencil on it. It's super, super cute. Okay, sorry. Okay, so anyway, uh, this has been sitting in the back room for a while, and I thought I would just uh, bring it out and, and get it painted. Hey, sis, how's it going? I'm gonna paint a chair. Are you ready? So this is all about painting upholstery. With any Sloan paint, you can you can paint upholstery, and this thing's got quite a pattern on it. Um, so a lot of people might be concerned about how well it'll cover. Dork. <laughs> anyway, I wonder who's texting me. Okay. Oh, it might be Nikki. Nope. All right. So this bottle is just water. Just a little bit of water so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray just a little bit of water on the surface of the fabric and what that does is it gives the pigment and the paint a vehicle to go in and basically dye the fabric fibers um, so you don't want it like sopping wet dripping down you just want it uh, slightly dampened you can use a paintbrush to apply it um, you don't have to have this specific these bottles are awesome but you know, you can use a regular spray bottle. My littlest niece, she is so sweet. Miss Wit. Okay, so um, when you paint fabric, you wanna thin the paint quite a lot. So if you can see here, it's probably the consistency of milk, just runny milk. Um, and I like to stir my paint and water with a paintbrush so I get all of the stuff off the bottom. So this brush is going to be fun to clean, but hey, chalk paint cleans up really well. So I'm going to take an oval paintbrush, and I've just stirred my paint, and I'm just literally going to slap that on there. So the color I'm using for this chair is Athenian Black. And you can see the coverage is really good. It just covers all of those, um, all those flowers up really, really nice. So I'm not worried about getting paint on the frame um, because I am gonna, I'm gonna have some fun with that later. But yeah, I just slap the paint on. And then I'll go ahead and wet another section. And I'm just using my hand to kind of push that water in a little bit. I'm not using a whole lot. Now, I like to stir my paint and water mixture um, every time I dip, just to keep that pigment consistent. And then again, you're just slapping that on. And when you're really, really light with your brush, like everything else with chalk paint, it will get right into those little crevices in the piping. Crevasse. Did I say crevice? <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I've been I've been looking at this chair in my back room for quite a while, and I'm like, well, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time just to get it done. Now normally I would be painting it up on this bench where I can't reach, but it's totally fine. There's a gem here. All right. Hello, Nikki, how are you today? Painting a chair. So in case you missed it, I'm using water. <laughs> My husband. Okay. I am using water. Just to slightly dampen the fabric before I apply my paint. And then mixing up the paint mixture. Again, incredibly runny. So I don't use a measuring cup when I mix 
and dilute paint. I just do it the consistency of a familiar fluid. Everybody knows what milk looks like, so that makes it really easy. And just paint it on. I don't know about you, but I like that a lot better. Now, for me here, because I, I can see, you know, um, so much better as far as the coverage goes, um, I'm willing to bet that it's going to take two, possibly three coats. It just depends on, on how it looks tomorrow. So once the paint has dried, by morning it should be dry. There may be a hint of stiffness. Um, and so what I'm going to do in the morning is I'm going to take... Now this one's pretty well used, but my pink, which is the fine Annie Sloan sanding pad, and all I'm going to do is run it across the fabric like this. I'm not going to do this. No reason for that. I'm just lightly going to run it across the fabric, and that will loosen up any stiffness. Do I wet that? I can't tell with gloves on. Uh, I don't typically wear gloves when I paint, but this is black paint, and it's very runny, and I will have black cuticles for days. No, thank you. So just get it on there, and it covers really, really great. <laughs> just like that. So what do you think so far? And you can work across the front and just rub that water in. Um, never a bad idea to open tucks and just get a little bit of extra water in there. Isn't it great? Like seriously, you can change anything. I'm very tempted to use maybe a little bit of gold with this chair, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The, the messiest part is the fabric, so I always, always do that first. And then I go ahead and paint the frame. I, I have, a, I guess, a really steady hand. So I'm going to open up. There's a fold right here. I'm just going to open that up and let the paint saturate through into that. Um, but I have a really steady hand, so I've been pretty good at just cutting in. Uh, cutting in around the frame and stuff. So the arms will be painted the black. But it really is this easy. The biggest mistake and the mistake I made when I first painted fabric, I was so excited that, oh my gosh, you can paint fabric with Annie Sloan paint. I went down and bought myself a $39 can of paint. I cracked it open, I started putting it right onto the fabric, which that fabric at the time was a very high pile fabric. This is a smooth cotton. Um, now my couch, if you've seen my, my green couch, you kind of see it in the background over there. It has a leaf pattern, it's a damask, and you don't lose that pattern at all. Hello, come on in, I'm just doing a quick live. You bet. No, not at all. Not at all. Come on in. All right. So paint that on and then just move to the next section. It's going to be so cool. I'm so excited. Do you have any questions at all? What kind of fabrics can you paint? Pretty much anything. Now, the one thing you will want to keep in mind is if your fabric has some kind of protectant on it, you'll probably want to test it um, to see if the paint bonds. So if you have, let's say you have a, a, a slip cover or a, or a sofa that has pillows, maybe try it on the pillows first. But um, linen paints really well, cotton paints really well, any natural fiber. Um, but people have had great success painting their outdoor cushions for their outdoor furniture. I plan on doing mine. Um, but it's just a great way to make a really big difference and recovering furniture is very expensive. The, the green couch over there, for example, uh, I had uh, one of the big upholstery company, one of the guys came in to buy some paint for a project and I asked him out of curiosity, what would you charge me to cover that couch? And he said, with all those buttons, $3,000.
I put 40 bucks worth of paint on that couch, uh, 20 bucks in gold leaf on the legs. I win. <laughs> so, and, and anybody that's been in here can tell you it feels just like fabric. And that's what I really like about this with a, with a latex paint from the hardware store, you either need an additive uh, or you're going to have very stiff fabric afterwards. And, and that's not comfortable to sit on. Uh, my husband was very specific on how he wanted that couch to feel since he was going to be the one spending the most time on it. Um, and he wanted it to feel just like any other regular couch, and that's what we got. So we love that. But just slap it on there. So I'm, what I do, um, I will let this dry um, overnight before I run that sandpaper over it. You want it to be bone dry. Um, some people would tell you to use sandpaper while you're applying the paint to work it into the fabric, and that might be that might be true on a maybe a velour um, or a velvet. I mean, I've, I've painted I've painted velvet and just did just like this. Now with velvet, the one thing about velvet is you definitely want to paint that with with the nap. So velvet. Um, runs one direction it lays down the other direction it stands up you want to paint velvet to it to where it lays down if you paint it all standing up it's going to stick that way and then it's not going to be very comfortable all right how do you make the fabric or how do you make the fabric before you paint it so just carrie just spray a little bit of water on it i'm using this spray bottle and just getting it a little bit wet again that gives the pigment in the paint a vehicle to go in and literally dye the fabric fiber. And you, you probably would use a lot less paint that way. So if you've got piping, like this piping here, I bought it around the arm, I'm just lifting that up and pushing my brush and getting that, that paint in there. And again, don't worry about making a mess on your frame. You can wipe it off with water if you plan to keep it when you get done. Uh, so for example, if I take, this is just a, a baby wipe, but it'll take all the paint off. You, don't, you just don't wanna leave the paint on there for a couple of days because chalk paint um, bonds really well to pretty much any surface and it'll come right off. So, but yeah, you just paint and then wipe off your frame and you're good to go. I have a chenille barrel chair. What about the grooves in the back of the seat? Okay, so you get to open those up. Um, if you look at my couch over there, the green one, it's a, it's a, a pin tuck couch. So I opened up every single seam, sprayed in a little bit of water, got the paint in there. It's fabulous. Don't worry about it. How do you keep it from bleeding onto your clothes? So I like to use the, the uh, analogy that chalk paint is a lot like spaghetti sauce. If you let it go into the dryer, it's there forever. Now some, some colors are very, very strong, like uh, Napoleonic blue or emperor's silk. And if you're wearing your nice white shirt, it's probably not gonna be a nice white shirt anymore. It'll probably have a stain. So wear something you don't mind, like I'm just wearing my uniform here, my apron and my t-shirt for the shop. Um, Oh, you mean after it's dry. So, okay, um, I've had hundreds and hundreds of people sit on that green couch over there in the, in the span of three years, hundreds, including that guy. And um, when I got done painting and after the final sand to, to loosen up the fabric, I did a coat of Scotch Guard that I bought uh, at the local hardware store. And I did test that on the back of the couch first to make sure it wasn't gonna, you know, change my color, or do anything, and it's it's held up beautifully. Kids climb on that couch. Nobody has ever turned green from sitting on my couch. Um, once the pigment is in and dry, um, it's better than writ dye, in my opinion. It just works really, really well. So that is, it's just that easy. So any more questions? Anybody want to come and paint a chair with me? That would be really the best part. Okay, get all that water in there. 
I'm excited to get this done. Again, stirring in between every time I dip. And I'm just getting enough paint on the brush to bring that pigment on and dye that fabric. Just like that. Yes. What? Are you done? No. I'm not done. I'll see if there's any more questions. That color is so rich. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even mention, or maybe I did earlier, but this is Athenian black. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, the rose is starting to peek through as the paint dries. So tomorrow's coat should cover that just a bit more. So the couch I did over there is two coats of Amsterdam green and then, and then uh, protected with the Scotchgard uh, fabric protector. Um, if you go onto my Instagram and you find that little pink chair with the green frame, which is the match to this chair, uh, I did six, six coats. Uh, of Henrietta to cover that flower pattern. Henrietta is a lighter color. Um, I, and then I waxed that chair. Uh, I waxed right over the fabric. So the fabric looks and feels like leather. Um, my husband didn't want the couch to feel like leather. He wanted it to feel like fabric. So, um, so yeah, just, just wax right over the fabric if you want it to look and feel like leather. Uh, I'll play it by ear on this. I really love the, the feel of just the fabric itself. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm also considering doing some gilding wax on the fabric. So if that's the case, I will be waxing for sure. Okay. What is your full plan for this? Just black? No, Nikki, you know me better than that. And I don't know yet. Um, I, have, I have entertained the thought of doing gold leaf on all of the frame which would be so bougie and fun. But I don't know yet. I don't know. That's not set in stone. Do you wet it on the next coat too? Yes, I do, Jamie. I'm, I'm sorry, Janie. Yes, I do. I don't, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see very well. Um, anyway, I can, I can see up close, but I can't see far away. Um, but yes, yeah, so basically I'm going to follow the same exact procedure. I'm going to wet the fabric. Uh, after I sand it, after I run that sandpaper over it, I'm going to spray it with the water, and I'm going to do another coat just like I did just now. And that will, um, that will darken and add another layer of color to bring the, the fabric uh, to black. So, yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, I'll wait for a couple more questions and just finish the front of this here. If you need one of these water bottles, I know beauty supply houses sell them. If you can find them locally, it's always best to shop local. There's also that ginormous shipping website you could check there. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to get shopping right now because there's not, not every place is open for, for uh, business. Maybe I can find an outlet so that I can bring them in for sale here in the shop. But I think it's gonna be really great when it's done. Just slap it on. No need to be careful. Just paint. That's like our mantra, any, any uh, Annie Sloan stock is still tell you. Yeah. Just paint, just do it. It's fun, it's easy. It's incredibly green. I mean, you're saving the environment when you're saving these old pieces. So many people throw them away, and they don't, they don't throw them away out of stupidity. It's ignorance. It's a completely different thing. I was one of those people once. All right. So unless there's any more questions, looks like we're good. Okay. I'm going to jump off and get the rest of this chair painted. If there is any questions I can help you with, just let me know. You can order everything you need to paint a chair <laughs> at www.reclaimstgeorge.com forward slash shop. Uh, or come on into the shop and I can help you plan out your project. You, you'll love this stuff. Yeah. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.